welcome back to For Heat Who Is Mighty. I have a special guest today. And I'm so excited. You guys are in for such a treat. He's such an amazing man, and his name is Luigi Yatu Sabe Calderon. <laughs> Luigi is our good friend that we just met like not too long ago, but we feel like we've known him forever. And you guys, he, if you guys want to get to know him better, check out his Instagram and DM him. He loves making new friends. But I say this because he has a crazy testimony in that he started doing life the way culture tells you to do, the way the world tells you to do, and he came into this turning point of realizing that Christ was the only thing that could really save him and could really fulfill his life. And it's really powerful when you think about it because a lot of people grow up in the church and that's not really his circumstance. Yeah, and then one thing is, one thing that opened up my eyes was that it was not religion that attracted me to church. It was a relationship with Jesus, which is completely different. I think people get it twisted. Like, mm -hmm. It's not about religion, guys. It's about a personal relationship with Jesus. So yep. I love God. I love Yatu Shave. <laughs> I'm going to ask him a couple questions to share his story and so you guys can feel encouraged and see how crazy the Lord can bring you if you let him. Right? Oh, Yatu <laughs> All right. Let's start with the first question. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. How did you get started going to church then? Um, I was actually... So it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy. So my parents were invited. My mom mm -hmm. was invited to church. So um, later on, my parents invited me to go. So it wasn't per se I was invited. It was my parents that were invited. Your parents took you. Took me. Yeah. Later on, I decided to to try it out to give it a shot. And how was it? It was. I ain't gonna lie. It was. It was a lot. It was a lot yeah. to take in for my first service. Just because I remember walking in and the worship and was clapping, dancing, doing their thing, and I was just like, whoa, this is way too much. Like, yeah. it was crazy. It was just, it was, I guess, just seeing everyone so joyful, it just something like I wasn't ready for. It's just so that first time. Yeah. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'm just glad that no one was speaking in tongues, because <laughs> I would have been tripping. No, that is like another level. Hey, by the way, man, this Slurpee, or Icy, whatever it is, is really good. So how long have you been a Christian? How long have I been a Christian? So you're talking about like walking right with God or are you talking about just overall just accepting Jesus in my life? Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, walking, I mean, I mean, accepting Jesus in my heart. I accepted him about like nine years ago. I okay. don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, but in terms of just walking right with God, I would probably say like four years ago. Like, and actually, by walking right with God, I'm talking about just surrendering my yeah, life. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, you know, letting him take over and putting my complete faith and trust. In like actually living for God. Four actually, years. Exactly. Okay. Actually living for God. And then a part of that too, also just, you know, ministry yeah. brought accountability to my life. And I truly believe that when we actually work in ministry, it uh, it creates a sense of accountability for mm -hmm. our lives in terms of, we represent Christ on, a, on another level, on a mm -hmm. deeper level. So um, that really helped my growth and my relationship with Jesus. Okay, ready for deep questions? Oh my gosh, let's go, dude. What's your favorite color? Oh man, that's a difficult one. I would have to say blue. I like blue. Like the ocean. Like the ocean. I was going to say red because it's like the blood of Christ. Oh my gosh. We're just going to say blue. Okay, what's your favorite thing about living for Christ? My favorite like, thing about living. A positive thing that you would say. I mean, it's just being able to show the love of Christ to others. Yeah. I think um, so, true. so many people need love, but when you show them not like the love of the world, but the love of Christ, mm -hmm. it's just deeper. It's and different. It's, better. It's, it's a lot different. But it's just it's just more impactful mm -hmm. and um, you know being able to make that impact in a world where people are lost where people need Jesus It's cool to see that change. You know yeah. what I mean? And thank God that I'm able to connect with people on another level just because I didn't grow up in the church mm -hmm. So not being like not growing up in the church has helped me connect to others mm -hmm. That are not in the church that need Jesus more you know like I mean? you start from the world and then you see Jesus rather than you see Jesus throughout your whole life, but you're lukewarm, like exactly. you say. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, true. Okay, I like this one. What is the most important thing you've learned in your journey as oh. being a Christian? Dude, these are just so deep questions, <laughs> man. What's up? Can you repeat that again? This guy. What is the most? You answered it yesterday. That's what I'm asking you because I liked your answer. What was, what was, what was the question? <laughs> What is the most important thing you've learned in your journey? What are the most important things I've learned in my journey? Man, that's that's like a whole list. One thing that I've learned, I guess, is, uh, I don't know if it's learned, but it's more like appreciated. I would say just I've come to understand. 
I feel like understanding God's grace for me has made me un like know what it means when it, when they talk about the love of Christ. Because mm -hmm. you can't really know the love of Christ without understanding the grace mm -hmm. of God. Because to me, it's like a, it's deep. Because once, just because of the life I used to live and understand yeah. how God had given me favor and forgiven me of the things that I've done in the past, it kind of has helped me understand his love for me yeah. on a deeper level. So yeah. It's funny because your answer was so different yesterday. Was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, <you're> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Can you shoot it to me? <laughs> it was probably better than yeah. the answer I gave right now. I asked him this question yesterday to like prep for today's video and he said that it's because it's a relationship, not religion. Hey, you know what? And that that's too. the most but important you... thing he's learned, that it's a relationship with the Lord. <laughs> Our religion. You know what's crazy? She didn't let me finish. Like I, that was my all, second no, no, part. You said, and that's it. Um, and to be real, no, that's 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 a good point too. It's just to understand. Yeah, and one thing that I preach about so much, and thank you for uh, reminding me, is it's not about religion. Uh, it's not about man-made religion. It's about that personal relationship mm -hmm. with Christ, being intentional, being personal. I think a lot of people get scared when people bring up religion per se, but when people bring up relationship. Man, that's deep. It's different. It's different. It hits yeah. different. Even when you tell someone and you approach them and be like, well, this is not religion-based. This is a relationship. They're like, yeah. what? Like what? That's, that sounds... It's a new concept. Uh, yeah, it's a new concept. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What is your favorite thing about God? My favorite thing about God would be, um, man, who he is. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, I mean, he's just a loving... I feel that we get it twisted and growing up, I, I truly believe in like a Hispanic culture sometimes. You yeah. think of God as a as a person, as, as a God that's ready to just spite you and you know when you do something bad, he's ready to, to just you punish, know what I mean? you. Yeah, punish you. So yeah. um, just understanding the love of God, you know what I mean? And just yeah. understanding his grace, like I said earlier, it just um, it, it just has changed who I am. And it's also made me under, be more empathetic to people. Mm -hmm. When you live a certain lifestyle, you understand why people go through addictions or why yeah. it's hard for them to let things go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because sometimes as Christians, we can have that religious spirit like the Pharisees and kind of be like, we're better than other people, but we're so not. true. We're not. It's just that we're forgiven people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. God's grace. Yeah. Good. Wow, what a good answer. What was the hardest part about becoming a Christian? Uh, one of the hardest things was um, the notion or the concept that I had to like come to Jesus perfect, like just thinking like, man, I can't go to God. Look at all the flaws I have. Yeah. But one thing that I, that I've come to understand is Jesus says, "Come as you are, and let me fix you. Mm -hmm. Let me do the work." Sometimes we put our the onus on ourselves, like we gotta do it. Like I gotta come to Jesus perfect, or He won't yeah. accept me. But it's the other way around. Come with your baggage. Come as you are, and let Him transform. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and that's what I preach to people. Like, you know, come as you are. Let Jesus do His thing. Mm -hmm. Something that you've shared before with me and David, that when you were going through that process of actually taking Christ seriously, that you, for you, it was something that's like, oh, now I have to start acting this certain way or I have to start living this certain way. And it was a process. It yeah. wasn't oh, like overnight. You were like, oh, now I'm going to start reading my Bible every day and I'm going to start praying every day, right? No, it's true. And it's the Holy Spirit working in you. Mm -hmm that transforms your life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That builds the fruits inside of you internally, that changes yeah. you, you know what I mean? It's the Holy Spirit that does the work, and it's sometimes it's a process, you know yeah. what I mean? So, and because you were living a certain lifestyle, yeah. and then trying to change that. Yeah, and sometimes I felt I put too much pressure on me than allowing God to mm -hmm. take over and put my complete trust and faith in God. There you go. Yatusa. Yatusa. <laughs> okay, what was the easiest part about being a Christian? The easiest part was, um, whew, man. Is there anything you need? I know. I mean, Being a Christian is hard. Let me yeah. tell you, it's funny because no, people, true. I'm, like, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I don't believe in this prosperity stuff, man, because it's truly, and I'm not trying to, you know, hit anything no, or rub people yeah. the wrong way, but, you know, it never said it was going to be easy. It's difficult. You have trials and tribulations, but yeah. I truly believe that through the trials and tribulations, it's a way, it's an opportunity for God's glory to be here. Yeah, oh, for sure. So, I mean, easy, I mean, fellowshipping, the maybe? fellowshipping, the, the, the going out to eat with your, your fellow <laughs> brothers and sisters after church. That's, that that's fun. Easy. That's easy. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe, like, and share. And go get yourself a nice little icy slurpee, whatever. It's kind of hot out there. Keep yourself cool. You know what I mean? Hydrate. I don't know if this hydrates you, but it's and good. Maybe it's a lot of sugar. Yep. But.
Oh, shoot, I got something on. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> do your thing. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. And don't forget to check out Luigi Calderon. See ya! I just spilled coffee! Oh, man. Alright, ready? This is the intro time. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got this restroom.